everyone, it's Susanna here with Health Ed Solutions, and today's lesson is part two on heart structure and blood flow. Don't forget to visit us online at healthedsolutions.com for more free content. Now, let's get started. Here is a nice summary of how oxygen-rich blood exits the left side of the heart via the aorta, travels through muscular arteries that are very, very high pressure, and then participates in gas exchange in the capillaries. That means oxygen will leave the blood and go into the tissues, along with nutrients, hormones, etc. Carbon dioxide will return to the bloodstream. And then the deoxygenated blood will be drained from the organs and back toward the heart. These veins are really big and floppy. They're thin walled, they don't have very much muscle and they're the lowest pressure of all of the different kinds of blood vessels. The pressure is so low, in fact, that venous valves are a requirement in order to be able to make sure the blood doesn't flow backward, back down toward the legs as it's trying to be pushed upward toward the heart. This deoxygenated blood will then drain to the heart through the vena cava. These are the biggest veins in the body. They will drain from the upper body through the superior vena cava and from the lower body in through the inferior vena cava. Low pressure, deoxygenated blood returns to the right side of the heart through the superior and inferior vena cava into the right atrium and then flows down to the right ventricle. When the ventricles pump, this deoxygenated blood is pumped up the pulmonary trunk. Now this word pulmonary means lungs, and so it makes sense that this blood is headed there. Then it goes out the pulmonary arteries to the right lung and the left lung. These pulmonary arteries are the only deoxygenated arteries in the entire body. Now, there is an exception in the fetal circulation, but we will discuss that in a different video. So these arteries take blood away from the heart and they deliver it to the lungs for gas exchange. So this deoxygenated blood will drop off its carbon dioxide and pick up oxygen. Then it brings this oxygen rich blood back to the left side of the heart through the pulmonary veins. So oxygenated blood returns to the heart via the pulmonary veins. Now the pulmonary veins, they're the only oxygenated veins in the body. Again, the fetal circulation has an exception, but we will discuss that in a different video. Okay, so when the ventricles pump, Blood should be pumped up through the great arteries, the aorta on the left side and the pulmonary trunk on the right side. However, how come the blood does not go back right up into the atria where it just came from? And this is where we see the value and importance of valves. Let's look at this in a little more detail. Each ventricle has strong carrot-shaped muscles called papillary muscles. These papillary muscles are attached to strong collagen fibers that we call the chordae tendinae. So that's the cord, like the tendinous cords, chordae tendinae. So here are the atrioventricular valves that the chordae tendinae are attached to via the papillary muscles. So they form this strong connection. The left atrioventricular valve has two other names. One of its other names is the mitral valve, and it was given this name historically. It was named for how it looked like uh, the hat that a bishop would wear. And then another name it has is the bicuspid valve. This name is based on that the fact that it has two flaps to it, as you can see in that part of the name bi for two. The right atrioventricular valve 
also has another name. Its other name is the tricuspid valve, and yes, it's named, uh, ha has tri in it for those three flaps. Okay, so you can see that the collagen fibers or the chordae tendinae allow the papillary muscles to hold the AV valve shut and they prevent blood from entering the atria when the ventricles are contracting. In so doing, the papillary muscles are able to prevent backflow of blood. That's it for our lesson today. Stay tuned for part three of Heart Structure and Blood Flow. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to please like and subscribe below.